In today's video we are going to talk about how to be mentally strong and how to develop a strong mindset. Let's take a look at what is a strong mindset. Just take a look at this damn up other verse from the Buddha, the Buddha said Pandita as a rock that is unshaken by the storm, to the wiser unshaken by the praise. And the blame. Have you seen these big masses of rock no matter how fast the wind blows, it is not shaken. The Buddha said same like that rock the wise people they are unshaken by the praise and the blame in their life and that is a strong mindset. So, in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you few tips that you can practice to build up a strong mindset. Tip number one is to maintain a stable mindset in ups and downs in life. You know life is like an ocean. Sometimes, ocean is calm and quiet and peaceful and sometimes it is stormy. We face ups and downs in life. The Buddha said these are called eight worldly conditions that means praise and blame, gain and loss, fame and disgrace, and pleasure and pain. These are the eight worldly conditions that we face in our life. Remember, these things Buddha said, except these ups and downs and in life whenever people criticize you, whenever people blame you, whenever you go through tough times in your life, if you can be mindful about your mind and your emotions and your feelings and not to be, not to chase after these emotions and feelings then you can be more stable in these situations. You can maintain a good emotional balance in these situations. It is very important to be mindful and to practice self-awareness in these situations. And also remember, you will not be able to always get the sweet comments, sweet opinions and sweet experiences in your life. Life will give tough times to you life will, throw lemons at you. So, you have to maintain a stable mindset whenever you go through these situations by practicing the mindfulness and the self-awareness. Remember that. Tip number two is to build the resilience inside the mind. You know that the resilience means the ability to stand up and bounce back. When you go through the adversities and when you go through this challenging situations in your life. To know how to practice this thing, you have to know one thing. You have to understand that what is in your control and what is not in your control. If you have a good understanding about what is in your control in your life and what is not in your control in your life. For example, if people come up to you and if they're starting to criticize you, those criticisms, those words that other people speak about you are not under your control. But what is in your control is your reaction to them. It is always a choice, you can think about this, like should I become angry with this, should I take this negativity, should I share this negativity with them, and does negativity ask them if you can question like that. Then you're not ready to take that negativity and also remember having a strong mindset does not mean that you're falling down, you are feeling hurt and you are feeling down. Having a strong mindset means you can stand up as soon as possible. When you go through these tough situations, you can quickly stand up and retrieve back to the normal situations in your life. That is called the resilience. So, to practice this, you have to have a good understanding about what is in your control in your life and what is in your control in your life. And what is not in your control is the experience happens to you and the things that people say to you, other people's opinions, other people's thoughts about you is not under your control. But all the things that is inside your mind, your opinions about them, your reaction to those experiences are totally under your control. So, if something is not under your control, you don't have to worry about it, because you cannot make any change about it. But if something is under your control, Definitely you can make a change about it, you can change your choice but you cannot change other people. Always remember that and also you have to cultivate a problem-solving mindset. If you're easily panicked by the problems, or if you are easy to trigger it by the problems then it is not easy to solve the problems. But if you can maintain a calm and a peaceful mindset even when you go through the problems or tough situations in your life, then it is very easy to go into the roots and solve the problems. Sometimes, we take the problems as ourselves, like we think, I have the anger, I am the problem, why is this happening to me right now? Remember, everything that is happening to you, is impermanent, it is not permanent thing right. It will be changed one day, what you have to do is to keep that problem aside and, try to dive into the roots of that problem, ask yourself why this thing is happening to me, what is the reason for this problem? What is the real reason for this? Where did I made the mistakes? And go to that problem, go to the root and then you can solve that problem. That is how you build up a problem-solving mindset. Finally tip number three, you have to practice a mindset of self-love and self-compassion. 
Remember, if you're loving yourself, if you truly love yourself, you're not going to take other people's negativity with you, whatever the thing that comes up to you, whatever the person comes up to you and like bring their negativity with you. You, tell yourself that, I'm not going to take this negativity with me, I want to be peaceful, I want to love myself, I truly love myself therefore I'm not ready to take your negativity, I'm not sharing this negativity with you, that is called self-love and self-compassion. To practice this, you can add up a simple practice that you can do it daily. When you get up early in the morning, just sit on your bed and think and say, no matter what happens during the day, I am going to love myself, I'm not going to take any negativity from this world, I'm going to empty my bin and I'm going to take a negative bin to this world. Do you know if you've kept all the bad things and trash in your bin for a long time, what will happen if you're in your trash bin? It will start to smell bad, but if you remove every single day all the trash in your bin and make it clean, make it a clean place, then it's very easy to live, it's very easy to be peaceful within. So, practice the self-compassion and self-love to build a strong mindset. Some people think that the people who are easily lose their temper are those who show their toughness and rudeness. They have this strong mindset but no anger and showing this negativity is not a sign of strength, it's a sign of weakness. If you are easily triggered by people, if you're easily triggered by the people's reactions then it's not a strong mindset. The strong mindset is the mindset that is not disturbed by the ups and downs in your life. So, practice these simple steps, build a stable mindset, make your mind a resilient one and finally love yourself more than any other person in this world. When you practice these steps you can build up a mindset that is unshaken by the ups and downs in your life. So, I wish you all to find the happiness in your life.